So as of um as of a couple of days ago, I have gone to thirty sessions um with my uh with my counselor or counselor or whatever you call him. Dr. Sum is what I call him. Um and since I, I went yesterday, um, during Black Friday and since it was after Thanksgiving, Salm asked me, you know, what I was thankful for and what I'm really thankful for is the opportunity to have gotten help, to have gone to therapy. The process that I had been going through since I first started making these videos as as hit, you know, as past the half a year mark, um, it's changed me in ways that I will never really, really be able to, that will take me years to really comprehend. And there's something really interesting about that that he said to me in that the fact that my personality was always one that never really wanted to ask for help. Um, I was raised under the premise that I can be self-sufficient and you know I can take care of problems myself. I was, I, I taught myself programming, I taught myself design, I've taught myself so many things um, because I knew I could do it. I ran into a problem instead of bothering people about it because quote unquote, I didn't feel my questions were important enough, hashtag self-worth, um, that I would just do it myself. And it took me a lot longer to do. It took me a lot longer to learn design than it did, you know, than a, than a how a lot of other people learned it. And, you know, I'm, I'm noticing that a lot more that, you know, I'm proud of how I've grown. I'm proud of where I've come. But there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable, committing a vulnerable act and asking somebody for help. And the most vulnerable act I've, I've done this entire year, it's surprising that it's over, but the fact that I've only been going to therapy for, in 2015 is, it's kind of crazy is that I've been like asking for help saying that our relationship isn't perfect um, saying that I'm not I'm broken I'm nowhere near that and to be broken down systematically broken down and having to be rebuilt again is one of the most harrowing experiences of my life thus far and now I'm going to sessions and it's like finding out these things that you know there there are no more at least for the time being, there there are no more gigantic sort of revelations that are coming out of, uh, that are coming out of these sessions. That, but little things like, yeah, you know what? You're asking for help now. I asked for help at work because work as, as great as a company, uh, as great as the company that I work for, you know, people are people, processes are processes, and projects are projects. That doesn't change in this industry, and people don't change. People don't people run into these things and people can have bad days, bad weeks, bad months. And I just happened to have two particularly stressful months that drove me to rethink how I approach work, how, what I am passionate about. And something that Sam has always told me was, you know, you have to pick a passion. You have to pick what your purpose is. You have to pick what you're passionate about. And uh, I've been doing that. And obviously, it's a little hard for me to talk about work here because, you know, you never, I put these out there, I take a risk, you never know who's going to be watching these, but I try to be transparent as possible, you know, work's been hard for me, and I haven't had the greatest tolerance of it, and this is the biggest design team I've ever worked for, at the biggest company I've ever worked for. Sure, I worked at Facebook, but that was when they had less than 200 people, Twitch is over 400 now, and growing very fast. Will I be able to survive it? I don't know. That and their streaming. I don't know what I'll be able to do. Uh, you know, I don't know um, when I'll be able to get to the point where I want to move on from being a web designer and try to be passionate about something else. A lot of these things are going on in my brain, and the last two months have really opened my eyes to you know what could be, what the realities are, and how you know. As much as people would like to change things for me or how I'd like to change things for myself, there are just certain restrictions. And I'm talking really cryptically now. I realize that, but, you know, the most you can do is just have a few friends behind you, a great wife, a great therapist, and and a lot of, and, and uh, some renewed optimism. 
I think that's what it is. I've always kind of been an optimistic kind of guy, but a lot of my stuff is grounded now. Uh, I tweeted out when I started streaming again. This is the end of my. Se this is the middle of my second week back having a schedule. I said that I have a solid foundation now. It's a foundation based on an agreement that I have with my wife that I will st that that works that optimizes both my time with with my audience and my time with her. And you know, many people will look at that saying you you only stream when your wife is working like looking at that as a control thing but if anything it's something we came up with together we came up with together it's optimized it's a being efficient it's taking the most efficient route to making sure we can spend the most time with each other as well as you know her spending time at her new job and me spending time at this job at the streaming job because it is that as much as i love it yeah there's a lot to be thankful for this thanksgiving and a lot to be thankful for this year uh, I, I'm almost entering the set the, I'm almost completing my second year of Twitch. I'm going to hit my first year of partnership in the new year at the end of January. And so much has happened that I'm almost taking it and looking at it with a new lens and being thankful that I can look at it like that and hoping that there, the people out there who haven't been able to do that can find the ability to find a new lens to look upon their lives find a new foundation and or rebuild theirs and uh, I know I'm gonna want to help but I'm still helping myself first With that said I'll see you next time <laughs>